Erica! Erica! Richard! Nani? Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Zero Morgan Collectibles and as always, this is your friendly neighborhood collector, Sum. So today, we're gonna try to review mini action series, Daimos. Let's go! Muyose! And first things first, let's look at the box. So right in front of us is Daimos standing. Very great. And then we have the Daimos logo from the anime, Action Toys logo, mini action series. And at the side, we have um, Daimos in an action pose, Daimos logo, number three, because Daimos is number three, first is Combatler, second is Voltus 5, and at the back, you have some more action poses for Daimos, so yes. And I believe in the warnings over here, it says Chewy, that means warning. Don't put them in your mouth. Don't choke on your toys, guys. So yeah, uh, on the other side is Daimos just standing with the twin blizzards open. Yeah, yeah, it's over there. And then at the top, it says Daimos again in action three. Daimos pose again, and at the bottom, it's Daimos in the truck mode, Daimos logo, 03. Alright. Next up is unboxing. So it's the return of the rusty cutter. Alright. So as I always say, always cut away from you. Okay. Try to unbox him right now. Oh, so there's Daimos over there in the robot form. Let's put that aside. So there are instructions for these guys. So it is better to read this than to play it with your figure and break it. So read this first before you play with it. So here we have Daimos in the clam state. Daimos over here, some truck parts. And I think this is a twin blizzards, some weapons, and some hands. So yeah, if you want to look at it, you can pause the video right now. Right. And now right in front of us is General Daimos. In mini action form he is a bit small but yeah before we go into further further details we'll look at his accessories so what we have here are Daimos's accessories for mini action toys it is a bit sad because not all of the weapons are here he only has the Daimo shaft and the dragon blades and of course the mighty twin blizzards but for the cost of this figure it is understandable uh, I do wish that they would have an up upgrade pack so we can have all of Daimus's weapons but sadly this is the only thing that they come with so yeah going into the accessories this is uh, the rear cab for the the truck mode and earlier these are the twin blizzards and wheels for the truck mode the Dymos shaft this can uh, be connected and turn into <laughs> one weapon so yeah please be careful with this because this is a bit flimsy and it might break so there we go and the twin dragon blades and he has three pairs extra hands grabbing hand chopping hand because he is a karate robot and weapon grabbing hands so that's about it for Daimos's accessories and then let's skip to Daimos himself. 
and we have Daimos right in front of us standing not so tall but also great uh, first impressions the plastic on this is not cheap mind you not cheap at all and yeah uh, compared to the Voltus 5 Chibi that I reviewed earlier uh, it's comparable with the, that plastic bus that one was sturdy because I was fidgeting with it all the time and it did not break so yeah props to mini action toys for using uh, good plastic so yeah for uh, the paints they are minimal paints I think um, the greens and the blues and some of the yellows in the eyes and the grays over here are the only ones with paint and the plastic is molded in the color so that saves them money in costing so yes there's the back view of Dymos so going into articulation Dymos can look to his left to his right tilt his head up here and look down up there, uh, down to there next is arm articulation his arms go 290 there is bicep swivel All right, and then there is elbow joints single elbow None the least it's okay then next for the um, Wrist movement it's you can swivel it left and right it Goes up and down so yep then for torso torso is goes left to his right I'm sorry and to his left there is a bit of um, play to the joint so you can extend him but there's gonna be a small gap if you can see then next is for the leg articulation his legs go up up to here and then go out up to here doesn't really hold the weight of the legs because this is heavy it goes down on its own so yeah please be please do be mindful of that there is a pull down method you can make him a bit taller so let's see if it holds if it's on pull out so it does not okay and then for knee there is knee knee goes up to here almost kicking its own butt yep but it did kick its own butt with the wheel so yeah props to that next is ankle articulation ankle is you can move it side to side forward almost non-existent so yeah there we have it other side just to check these flaps do um, get out of the way on their own but it is better if you do them yourself so yeah it goes side and goes forward so that's the articulation for general dimos all right next will be table time <laughs>
yeah, for transformation, we're gonna tackle that right now. First, take out the hand. Then, close this, pull it up a bit, close, then take this off at the back, and you put this here. The arms in, then look at this, swing it back, same for the other side, put it there, so that, close this. So, yes, next is you do this. Then take this and then you okay. This is next. I recommend you take this off and then you just put that there, slide it here, and then fold this out. Same for here. Well, I have them on different sides, so let's take it out. Let's clip them here and slide it there. Just to clip them here, slide it there. Then Shorten the legs. Here. So we have it almost done. Then next is the backpack. I already have them uh, folded out for you convenience and you put this here at the back and you just swing him back here okay and then you close this then you have Daimos in his truck mode All right. So going into size, um, Daimos stands at about just under six. Oh shit! I have this <laughs> upside down. Sorry, Daimos is just under six inches, maybe five and three fourths. And for size comparison, this is him with. Voltus 5 with the, for, with the same maker but not the same line so yeah this is him and he won't really fit into your uh, 6 inch scale figures because he is a super robot but if you do that kind of stuff no problem right guy in Daimos cosplay so yeah let's put someone out there 
so we can see him next to a six inch figure so he gets smaller so yeah that's it so yes going into final thoughts uh, for Daimos over here he is a bit small for a uh, super robot even for the scale but if you have the whole line it's gonna scale up very good you have Voltus 5 and Combatler it's gonna be um, the three romance robots I got so it's gonna be a good display um, items on your display so yeah final thoughts plastic is good articulation is very good uh, just wish it would have a pivot in the front for this and um, the joints could have been tighter so he can hold um, the kick to the side but overall yeah he can do his um, some of his um, karate uh, moves so yeah this is a very good figure for me so if you're trying to find a cheap alternative to the SOCs uh, from Bandai this is definitely it a uh, transformable Daimos which has no die cast but yeah for the price it's uh, very good so I do recommend if you want to buy it they are still out there in the wild so yes go out and buy it all right so that's it for the review please do not forget to like comment and subscribe uh, eat your veggies stay safe and peace articulation is whoop sorry about that